Today, Annie's mother is going to teach Annie and her friends the division of a two-digit number by a one-digit number. Let us join them. Children, there are five steps to simple division. Let us see these steps while finding the quotient for 97 divided by 2. Step 1 is to compare the digits. We compare the leftmost digit of the dividend with the divisor. Here, the leftmost digit is the digit in the tens place, that is 9. 9 is greater than 2. And therefore, we can divide 9 by 2. So, step 2 is doing the division. Here, as the divisor is 2, we use the table of 2's to find a product which is equal to or less than and nearest to the digit of the dividend, that is 9. So, the nearest product is 8. Hence, we write 4 above 9. Step 3 is to multiply 4 by 2. As we know, 4 into 2 is equal to 8. We write the number 8 in the tens column under 9. Step 4 is to subtract 8 from 9, which is equal to 1. We write this 1 in the tens column. Now, step 5 is to bring down the next digit, that is 7. After bringing down the digit, we repeat steps 1 to 5 again till there are no more digits to bring down. So, here we again compare 17 and 2. Here, 17 is greater than 2. So, we can divide 17 by 2. Here, we use the table of 2's such that the product is less than or equal to and nearest to 17. The nearest product is 16. So, we write 8 above the 7. As we know, 8 into 2 is equal to 16. Write the number 16 under 17. Next, subtract 16 from 17, which is equal to 1. Write 1 in the 1's column. Now, there are no more digits to bring down. We have finished our division. The remainder here is 1. Did you know, kids? We can also check our calculation. All we have to do is use the following relation. Dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. That is 48 into 2 plus 1, which is equal to 96 plus 1, is equal to 97. Isn't that interesting? The answer we get is 
the dividend itself. That is 97. What is 75 divided by 5? Children, here also you will have to follow the same 5 steps process explained in the previous example. We start with comparing the digit in the tens place, that is 7 with 5. Yes, 7 is greater than 5 and therefore we can divide 7 by 5. Here we use the table of 5 such that the product is equal to or less than and nearest to 7. So, the nearest product is 5. Hence, we write 1 above the 7. As we know, 1 into 5 is equal to 5. Write the number 5 in the tens column under 7. Subtract 5 from 7. The remainder 2 is written in the tens column. Now bring down the next digit, that is 5, and write it beside 2. What do we do next? Back to comparison. 25 is greater than 5, so we can divide 25 by 5. Now, find the nearest product to 25. How many times can 5 go into 25? We write 5 above the 5. Since we know 5 multiplied by 5 equals 25. And the number 25 under 25. Finally, subtract 25 from 25, which equals 0, which is the remainder. Write 0 in the 1's column. It is time to check our calculation. Dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. So, 15 into 5 plus 0 is equal to 75 plus 0, which is equal to 75, the dividend. This proves that we have solved the question correctly. Wasn't it great fun learning division at Annie's home?